In this lesson, we're going to learn about how to edit errors. There are several different types of errors. There are warnings with the orange triangle and the exclamation point. There are markers with the down arrow in the orange triangle. And there are also just simple errors with the white X in the red circle. Errors, warnings, and markers are all going to have tooltips associated with them that help you identify the problem. For example, on this Fillet 6 feature, SolidWorks gives us a nice explanation of what we might try to fix this error. If we put the cursor over the sketch, we get another type of explanation. And another one over a feature down here, and we get a different explanation yet. SolidWorks explanations are not always perfect, but they usually get you started in the right direction looking for an answer if you understand the nature of the errors. Fixing errors in SolidWorks turns out to be very important. If you make a lot of changes to your models, and chances are you will, then you will probably fix more errors than you will create new features. Let's take a look through this part and see how it was built first, and then we can identify some of the errors. We can already see just by looking at this part in this area that there's a feature that creates geometry that is probably not what was intended. This fillet should probably not create an undercut underneath this boss. This type of geometry is usually caused by a feature order problem where the fillet comes before the boss feature. So fillet 1 is located in the tree before the boss was created, and chances are that order should be reversed. Just looking at the part, it's hard to tell if there are any additional errors. We can see that this edge does not have a fillet on it the way the rest of the edges on the bosses have, but everything else looks good. Let's take a look at the feature manager on this part to see how the part was made. Again, we'll grab the bar at the bottom with the cursor and pull it all the way to the top. You cannot take it before the origin because the origin and the planes are the reference geometry that every part is based on. So let's roll it down past the first extrude. The first extrude is made from a U-shaped sketch, a thin feature. Material goes to the outside, and it goes in a different amount in direction 1 and direction 2. Let's have a look at the feature just to make sure we understand all of that. I've pulled the property manager out of the feature manager. Property manager usually sits here but it can be pulled out so that you can see both the feature manager and the property manager at the same time. So we have a thin feature with direction one and direction two, extruding two inches in one direction and one inch in the other direction. This looks to be good. The next feature has a warning on it. Let's read what the warning says. A solution cannot be determined for this sketch. Consider moving the sketch closer to the desired solution by dragging or changing dimensions, adding more dimensions or relations to further define the sketch, or changing the dimensioning scheme. So it seems to be telling us that there's a problem with the dimensions. Let's edit the sketch and see what's going on. Remember that SolidWorks sketches are usually blue and black. Blue means underdefined, black means fully defined. But in the case when we have yellow and red items in a sketch, yellow means the item conflicts with something else, and red means the dimension or sketch entity cannot be solved given the dimension values or sketch relations. So in this case, what you usually look for in your sketch is the red items. The circle is red, but I'm not sure what's wrong about that. This short line up here is red, and that also appears to be in the correct location. The other item that's red is this dimension. If you look at the rest of the dimensions, this 3-inch dimension doesn't seem to fit. One thing you can do is to try to change it 
and use the down arrows until the dimension turns blue or black. So at about 0.4, it fails, and about 0.3, it works. This dimension is not really that critical, so we can just leave it at that number. The warning on the sketch won't go away until you exit the sketch. You see now that the warning has gone away as well as the marker on the feature. In the next lesson, we'll continue working through this part and correct the rest of the errors.